do you think um, if somebody's watching this and they're like, can I just pay you? Because <laughs> they're right. Because, uh, you know, I looked at OBS first mm -hmm. and I started playing with it. And I'm like this. I, I, I'm not going to do this. I'll have the patience. Right. I'm not I'm not going to. And then exactly. I did more. I, I did more Google. I was like, ooh, Ecamm. And Ecamm did have a little bit of a learning curve. But once I got yeah. past that, then it all yeah. clicked for me. Uh, yeah. it, it, it took a little bit. So I, I think, is that something you can help people with is from a consulting perspective? Oh, maybe? absolutely. I, I do home studio consultations all the time. Like I said, I drove all the way up to Jersey City to set up a studio for my client. So, And I've gone all the way to Alexandria, Virginia to help somebody set up a uh, studio space as well because... Well, what about the programming side of the software? Could you help with that? Like Yes. Yeah. I've done the programming side of the software as well. Uh, in fact, my very first client was based out of UK, and I used Zoom to log remotely into their computer, set up all the software, all the scenes, like, okay, your your Stream Deck is set up, your software is set up, you just click this button, it'll go to this one, and you're all, all ready to go. And see, I mean, I hate to say this, but I feel like the UK is a little bit ahead of us when it comes to video, because when I want to learn something new, like Ecamm, Right, mm -hmm. we th we talked about Mr. Salisbury that we met there. Salisbury, yeah, yeah. It's like I was like, I don't know, I can't find anybody here. I can't go mm -hmm. to a class in person because when you're on the edge, there isn't yeah. anybody. It's hard to find that person. It's right. always the exactly. UK. Somebody in the UK is doing it before us. Yeah, absolutely, and and that's because they really find it find the software really you know appealing, and then the more software they put out the more videos they put out the more you're going to find them i mean it all comes down to hey who's out there teaching people and adrian loves to teach right so he's teaching about ecamm he's teaching about hardware software video cameras etc being a photographer himself it, ma it made the logical sense to go into teaching this stuff as well uh we got a Oh, Michael J says, I'm getting great results with, re um, he said Restreet, but I think you mean Restream.io. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I think there's no wrong answer. I think it's just you start somewhere. So maybe some of yes. you started with your phone and on your phone you went live and that was mm -hmm. cool. But now it's time to upgrade, right? I said, you know, yeah. you're in middle school and now it's time to go to high school mm -hmm. and uh, maybe get a browser based software. Maybe that's like the yeah. next level. Right. Yeah, Be so that's either. where Restream and StreamYard come into play. Yeah, Restream, StreamYard, and then I started on uh, BeLive.tv. Mm -hmm. I did over 100 episodes on there because mm. it was more stable and very easy to set up. Like it was yeah. very basic. I think that might be the good. That was and also, the, also um, browser-based, right? Yeah, yeah, also browser-based. Uh, and they all have a, a free side of it, so you can yeah. try, try them out, see which interface you like. I, I freaking paid for the whole year of Restream because um, I get suckered into Black Friday deals. Like, yeah. we all do. I'm like, but, oh, my God, it, it's such a good deal. But I Restream is it. so powerful, right? It's, it, I mean, with Ecamm, you're using Restream because it enables you to broadcast 10 different uh, platforms. Yeah, but here's – and here's, like, it's personal preference, right? I love the fact that, you know, the on – like, on screen comments like this, right? And I know StreamYard does it, but when you go restream and now you have multiple locations, mm -hmm. I feel like you lose engagement because even mm -hmm. if you're in the interface that they have, not everything's coming into there and you can't put yeah. it all on the screen. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, guys, comment if you feel this way, but I feel like more often people comment because they're going to be, right? And then I tell people, comment. They're going to jump on the comment, yeah. Right. You're a permanent part of this video, which will be hosted somewhere forever or for a yeah. long time anyways. Mm -hmm. Right? So it does boost the engagement. I don't like the platforms where you can't. I guess it's just I'm used to it now, and I'm like, hey. And right. It just, it just makes it much easier to have that engagement, and, and, and the audience is like, hey, my comment is up there, and it's being answered right now. See, <laughs> like Michael J. said, I was yeah. on the fence, but the deal, the half-off offer got mm -hmm. him. Got him too, yeah. Uh, the best way to, to close any salesperson is give them the perception of a good deal. That's, right. That's the, the honest truth there. It's half off, dude. Come on. Half <clears throat> but Restream is pretty powerful. 
is a pretty powerful platform. Uh, and it has additional capabilities. For example, it'll record your stream. And then if you wanted to restream it out on the other platforms and then just be sitting in the comments answering the questions, there's another way. Yeah, and, and there's the opportunity for those who <clears throat> kind of might be a little bit scared because both of us have done this many times. And so we like mm -hmm. Janae quite honestly hopped on at nine o'clock and I wasn't that worried. <laughs> Right. Anybody else would have been like, oh, my God, oh, where are you? What are you doing? But he hopped on. Boom. He had one issue, took him 20 seconds to resolve. We're ready to rock and roll. And then we yeah. can we can talk live. No problem. But if it's that scares you, there are most of the platforms you can stream a pre-recorded video. Yeah. And uh, depending on where you're streaming it to Facebook, you have to make sure that you, you put a little banner there like this is pre-recorded content streaming we right. call it simu live yeah. um and then you can be in the comments just replying to stuff as you but when you do it that way and this is what i learned because i did it for the national realtors conference mm -hmm. you still try to engage as if you're live yes right would you say like hey everybody yeah put in the comments where you're from oh yeah oh man okay good good to see everybody yeah. out and like i'm not live i don't really right. I'm not really reading it but that's yeah. how it would go down but that's, basically you're you're repurposing a live stream because you're having that engagement you're saying you know you're telling those prompts you're uh, just engaging with the audience 